I guess the hardest part about uh, my dad passing away is that I didn't think it was going to happen until he was 85 or 90 years old. I thought my biggest problem would be uh, trying to convince him to go into a home when he was 95 and him refusing to do it. And I would have felt like crap. So I guess I don't have to do that. But it would have been nice to have a, another 10 years with him. Um, what do you say about Ron Wood? He was like the best dad a kid could have. Uh, growing up with him was like kind of like growing up with a buddy. Um, kind of let me do it, did do what I want to do. We had a rule, you know, you can do what you want, just don't get caught. And if you get caught and it's bad enough, I got to bring the hammer down. And so I never wanted to incur his rage. So I was just really good at uh, slipping through the cracks, but still having quite a bit of fun as a youngster. Um, and uh, it was pretty cool having the, the cool dad. You know, I actually look forward to introducing my friends to him, where I think a lot of kids are embarrassed of their parents and what they're going to say. But my dad was always like the uh, cincher. You know, if I wanted to impress somebody, I had to get them back to my house so they could meet my mustachioed papa and he could uh crack him up with uh his just you know unique humor and it was it was awesome i never you know i have not one like bad memory of <laughs> uh growing up he was always there for me never let me down most i mean i never even knew if we were rich or poor it didn't matter we did all the constantly having fun going places I never envied anybody else because of what they had. I thought what my life was was pretty much perfect. And I look back and I, I still think it was. Um, so it's, you know, it's been a great life. And my dad gave me every opportunity a person could ask for. And every mistake I ever made was of my own doing. And I, I never blamed him for anything or anybody else and my dad just taught me some good lessons and you don't realize that till later sometimes You're like man he was right darn it um i'm also really glad that we never really got in any major arguments i can remember or i never flew off the handle or acted like a you know a dipshit and uh we never had a falling out we we're always buddies uh there was never a time when we didn't talk every single christmas i was at his house at you know, seven or eight in the morning, every single year since I moved out, we got our Christmas tree. And uh, I, that's some of the things I'm happiest about is like those traditions. Um, the only thing that we didn't share, I guess, was the love of fishing. That one never quite grew on me, but I definitely love hunting. And growing up with my dad was like an adventure. We did all kinds of cool stuff. A lot of it for the first time going to Montana and, you know, just doing man stuff and he was like a definite like man he was a kind of guy that you know without guys like him we wouldn't even have this country if you ask me I mean he's a pioneer a modern pioneer just a does man stuff I remember growing up as a kid him and my uncle Daryl we were out, out in the woods for fun like cutting trees down and getting our own firewood and, and just getting dirty and sweaty and being a cool 70s kid and playing with guns and I mean, I'm just so glad I grew up when I did. And uh, just the stuff that my dad instilled in me, he was just a, he was like a nice guy. He always told me to be nice to people. And I, you know, I, for the most part was, especially now I think I'm a lot nicer, but like he just was a, had taught me a lot of good lessons and he wasn't vindictive and he was always just like work hard. I mean, I love working for some reason. It just makes me happy, like planting plants and, putting grass down and mowing the yard and looking back and being satisfied with it. And then I'm able to teach my kids that. And just like, how do you thank somebody for teaching you that work's important and to love working hard? I mean, it's like one of those intangible things that like money doesn't matter. It's those gifts that get passed on. And my dad just taught me so much stuff. And, you know, I, I wish he was here and I'm always going to, but the part he is, uh, is here because I can raise my kids and like hopefully do as good a job with them as he did with me and I have like a a great role model and 
I still think he's uh, here. <laughs> the hardest part for me lately is uh, finishing a project or something and uh, picking up the phone to call him and tell him about what I just made or send him pictures of the, the newest thing I built and then realize that I, he's not there. So I have other people, you know, <clears throat> my cousin, And, uh, uh, you know, my boys, but I'll never forget them, but, you know, I don't, I don't know anybody that's, uh, I mean, he had like a, such a full life and he, he had no regrets, you know, at the end, he was like, well, I wish this wasn't happening but you know i'm i feel good about where we're at and i'm love to watching the kids grow up and you and so he had a full life and no regrets and he never complained and he never was you know like why me why me so even in in his last days he was <laughs> providing a road map on like you know if you're gonna, if something's gonna happen, kind of how to do it. I mean, I hope we're all gonna die someday, and I hope that, you know, when it's my time, that I can make sure that my kids aren't worried. I mean, my biggest fear was that he was scared. And uh, if he was, he didn't tell me. <laughs> so that actually <clears throat> made me feel good, knowing that he wasn't scared. But he probably was. So, you know, I just, uh, I'm uh, just thankful. And he did such a great job and provided me with everything. And, and I told him every which way I could how much I loved him and appreciated him. And then at the end, there's kind of like you run out of words. And so you just hope that the person knows and I'm pretty sure he did and I'm just glad that I was able to give him two awesome grandkids and he loved that so much and uh, <clears throat> I really found out what a, um awesome wife I have without her I mean she really made the my dad's last year on earth just like bearable and there's like <laughs> you never know uh you know how someone's gonna react until they're put in that situation and amber was just like i mean like a superhero and i, I love her so much and my dad did too so i mean she did all the hard stuff i was at work most of the time and it kept my mind off it and she'd call me and like you know what your dad did now i'm like oh what do you do? And he just had his little quirks and stuff that you don't really find out a lot until you live with somebody. But it was one of those situations. Oh, let's just, you know, deal with it. <laughs> I don't want to yell at him. Uh, but I remember in the past that, you know, I'd have to like, dad, can you kind of watch the, some of the stories and stuff, at the next barbecue and not try to piss everybody off and keep those between me and you. When we start talking about guns and politics and he's like, all right, if I have to, but he always did it because he just wanted to make everybody happy and, and he did. And so it was just awesome. And like, you know, as we go through this stuff, just the people that I didn't even know he knew, he was like, Oh, that was your dad. Every time I'm at the house, taking care of the yard, it's like, Hey, where's Ron at? You know? And it's just, he was Mr. Kirkland and Mr. Christmas and like, it's awesome. So, I mean, I, I'm at the point now where I'm just celebrating like Ron Wood, he was such a cool guy and he's still gonna be with me forever and with the kids and with everybody he met and he made a big impression. And so, I mean, that's really all you could ask in life. And he was a good person and he just touched a lot of people. I mean, you think he was basically like a grandpa to like 10 different kids, so, which is awesome. I mean, you just go out of his way for anybody and he's just a really good person. And so it makes you wanna be a good person. 
and I'm going to be. And I know he's always on my shoulder, like watching. So I'll miss you, Dad. Love you.